Tiki Tingles here. Welcome to the Tiki Tingles show. Today we're going to be doing another magazine reading here. This is the December edition of Four Women First. I love it. <laughs> um, first off, let me explain the condition of the magazine. Um, one, <laughs> I actually had a, attempted to um, bring this to you and recorded the video maybe two, three times, and each time, okay, the first time I recorded the video trying to hold the book and read it that way, and I just wasn't satisfied with it, the lighting was bad, and I just really didn't feel like you could see the information you might want to see, and then I tried recording it the second time, and there was a tremendous amount of backward, background noise, <coughs> excuse me, um, because I forgot and left my window open while I was doing my recording and I didn't think my microphone would pick up on all of that um, but it did so <laughs> this is uh, my third time I've actually had the magazine for about a week and a half now and um, yeah unintentionally I wasn't meaning to hold on to it that long so uh, this is probably not the newest edition of Four Women First. I believe there's probably one more after this, but I wanted to hurry up and get this one to you because there's a lot of good information in here that I think you guys might be wanting to see for the holiday season. So I did mark out a couple places. So we're just going to do some page turning. First, we're going to get rid of this first page because it's um, been ripped. My <laughs> eight-year-old... <coughs> bless her little soul she is such a um curious little little spirit and so uh when i uh first got the magazine i read through it and left it on the bed went jumped in the shower and um someone decided that they wanted to take out some pages of some cute little animals and <laughs> there we go that's how our front and back pages got ripped up like this so we're gonna go ahead and move through that i'll just show you guys here this is what the first page looks like and we'll move on from that so i hope the lighting is really good that you guys can see really well and so we'll just flip through the pages here and um it's telling us things that are really good helpful for the season um i like this saying right here it says not what we say about our blessings but how we use them is the true measure of our thanksgiving and that was said by wt perkisser and this is great they have a little um graphic of a leaf with holding a hand I mean hands holding a leaf with a heart cut out it's really cute so we're gonna move on and I believe there's a stress buster here too I wanted to talk to you guys about um, oh yes 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 here on this page right here this article talks about um, curing your sleeping wounds. So, um, you know, if you do have trouble sleeping, which a lot of us do, you can try a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg powder in a glass of warm milk or decaffeinated tea right before bed. And that's said to, you know, assist you with um, getting good sleep. Just some fashion tips. They said leather is all in, that you should have at least a leather jacket, leather skirt, and leather, uh, I mean, leather jacket, leather pants, and a leather dress. And, uh, bangs. Bangs make amazing changes to your facial features. So, let me just change the angle there so maybe you can see it better. So, we're turning the pages. Here we go. So I think that's probably a lot better. Um, these are just like, I would say, um, wardrobe packs, things that you can wear that will help you slim and trim your body in all the right spots. Angular dresses, things like, um, pants and stuff like that. Um, 
tits for making yoga in 15 minutes. That, like, you make a tip and it's just like that. These are cytotonics. Cider, perfect for the season since it's all cold. Um, they say apple cider vinegar. <coughs> Excuse me. It uh, revs fat burn. It dials down hunger hormones. And it helps to balance your sugar levels. Isn't that great? Um, here we're talking about snacking, egg rolls in specific, dietary tweaks in order to beat bloat and other things. Revitalize with harvest veggies. I love harvest veggies. They're so cold. So we're the end of the season, I guess. Maybe it makes sense. It's harvest time. <laughs> And if you like to go to BJ's restaurant and brew house, this tells you some ways that you can um, hack your menu so that way you don't have to take in so many calories. This is our cover story here about um, thyroid and how to heal your thyroid and lose 65 pounds in a couple of weeks. Different things that you can um, use, zinc or super slim coffee add-ons, turmeric, cinnamon, cocoa powder. Um, you can make your own skinny latte if you like. They say four easy steps. You start with coffee. Choose your fats, either coconut milk, um, skim milk, or uh, <coughs> excuse me, something that doesn't have so many uh, calories or is um, not so much full of dairy fats. Then you mix in a protein, um, there's a collagen powder or something like that. And then you add flavor. And for flavors, remember they said before, cinnamon, turmeric, nutmeg, and even pumpkin powder are popular. <coughs> and ways to get energy all day. These are great. Um, something it says about here, um, I made sure I pinned this off, and it says, to deepen sleep, holiday baking is great. It says here about 8 p.m., they said, do your holiday baking in the evening and snacking a, a bit as you work. <coughs> will help you drift off 10 minutes faster and sleep 38% better. So, yum, right? Even better, even more reason to love holiday baking. Um, life has never been better. Talking about energy, restore, restoration. And also here we're talking about um, how to you know, boost your mood and organic quick fixes. Bad breath cures. <laughs> Ooh, a quick workout from um, Dancing with the Stars. Burke, Burke Cavia, Carve, Carve, I think, Chave. I'm not sure how to say her last name. Thingy. But uh, I knew it's Burke Burke. <laughs> so here she's telling you to get strong um, back and slim hips. You're going to be doing the fire hydrants. And so this just looks like you're going to be basically you know, doing that uh, thing where it's almost like oh. on all fours and yeah, you're going to just be doing this kind of thing with your leg out, back, out, back but with her, she wants you to kind of put in a three pound weight, which is really cool that'll add some resistance and then here, up here, we have jumping lunges so it's just basically doing your typical lunge, but instead, when you switch your um, legs, you're going to jump into place and land like she is here. And um, back to this one, she said you want to do 10 reps and then switch sides. And then with this one, 10 reps and then switch sides. And then her next exercise up here is donkey kicks. We all know donkey kicks. So it's just basically getting on all fours and then you're going to lift your leg up like you're trying to kick yourself in the back of the head. And she said that it's also good to put a weight in the middle of your um, knee right there as more resistance. She says do 10 reps and then switch sides. 
And then this one, side reaches, basically you're going to um, put your leg, like, you know, apart a little bit right here. And then you're going to, you know, reach out over your head like a ballerina kind of thing. She said you're going to do 10 reps and then switch sides. And this um, exercise regimen should have you all party dress ready in three weeks. So, dude, there you go. You're getting a little exercise tips. The new LA fitness trend, Bollywood dance, even though we've been doing that for years. So, I don't think it's very new. <laughs> Um, also, here's tips on ways to, you know, think about putting yourself first. A lot of times we put so much pressure on ourselves that we're causing a lot of our own conditions and problems here. And um, the anxiety, they say you have to eliminate the I must out of your uh, vocabulary. Resentment, take a step back and look at the, the things that you're doing well and um, stop tearing yourself apart here burnout like you know give stress the slip like you know try and give yourself the excuse to have a little enjoyable day take time off for you um, guilt and um, calculate the cost of pleasing you know ask yourself is their disapproval so unbearable that I must sacrifice myself to reduce the possibility that they'll be mad. And a lot of times, yeah, we do do that. We want to be everything to everybody, and we just can't do it. Um, so here it says the trick to curbing anger. A lot of times, yeah, especially if you live in a city with a lot of traffic, it gets really stressful. So she said that um, one trick to reduce anger is by switching yourself into third person and asking yourself, you know, for example, would Tiki do that? Is that something that Tiki would really think is a positive thing to do? And a lot of times when you have to think of it outside of yourself, you look at it a little differently. <clears throat> um, another stress booster, they say, is to quiet the mind. They say to get lost in a show. So, a lot of us like to Netflix and chill, but, um, they say try and do shows that aren't so, um, stressful, like, you know, Game of Thrones and things like that. It may not be the proper watching before you go to bed, you know, they say something lightweight, like, you know, The, the Office or the mo or Modern Family, things that would take your mind away. I like to call it kind of like, um, junk TV, junk food TV, personally. My favorite junk food TV is Jerry Springer. I love it. I don't care. It's just fun to me. So, <laughs> um, slow cooker crowd pleasers. Prepping 15 minutes or less. Um, well, some of these are slow cookers and some of these obviously aren't. So, and then they have a pull out mini mag. So, this might be the mini mag with all this delicious food to look at to make your holiday dinner amazing why go traditional when you can go extraordinary right and I think you can do it because you are extraordinary you know, we should tell ourselves that all the time we are extraordinary people each and every one of us even though we don't see it we always put a lot of stress on ourselves to be perfect and especially during the holidays because we want to have that great holiday experience but you know what we should really be happy to just be together and have loved ones surrounding us in good happy health and if it doesn't come out all perfect then you know what it's okay because it's family and family should love you regardless just being together is just enough this tells you some great slow cookers here to you know purchase um, some of the best ones one is good for multitasking another one has the best timer function and another one is best for entertaining so i imagine you can just sit it out there without having to worry um ooh, delicious treats to kick off a good time like little appetizers um sweet and sour meatballs and um chicken lettuce wraps these are gluten free and dairy free appetizers so if you have guests that are sensitive 
Um, here we have barbecue pork, pork sliders and honey sriracha. Mmm, drumsticks. And add a little spice. Oh, the Omaha steaks give a little tenderness pack. The This is a great box set. Um, I've had one of these before. Now, I haven't had the one that comes with the kielbasa sausages. But, yeah, it looks great. Delicious. And look at how they have it set up. You can just set something up like that for a holiday platter and just let people have at it. <laughs> Rise and shine to berry kiss bliss. Oh, a little holiday treats. Cranberry orange sweet roll. Sweet rolls are really not that hard to make either. So it sounds like it'll be an easy project. And soups are always great for a nice delicious feeling meal but it's a little bit light on the stomach before you go to bed and the warmth is just really comfy and cozy look at these isn't this beautiful it's holiday um centerpieces and decor once again why go traditional when you can go individual you know don't go with the traditional holiday wreath. Make one that is all you. And you can go to popular places like Joanne's and Michael's and pick up little pieces. Even here, they're showing you how to make decorations with hazelnuts. And this is a double um, win because hazelnuts are so fragrant and they smell so good. That, um, I think that smell just like vanilla will be very calming and relaxing um, here they have a great idea for crafting using um, just like some wire like the wire wreath holder or whatever and then taking you know cards or whatever your holiday cards or even holiday pictures and using clothes pins to attach it to the wreath so you end up having a project that looks like this really nice I think it would be a great way to collect all your holiday things and you just keep changing it out every year um, these are brilliant uses for chalk <laughs> how to take quality pictures with your, um, with your smartphone entertain guests for less um, things like this is a great tip. It's a little morbid, but it's pretty good. Um, you can go to hospitals and churches and mortuaries and pick up flowers because a lot of times they have to throw them out after the services and they don't really have any other uses for them. So you can put something together. Um, also, using things like um, already pre-made like gelatin cups or whatever and then just buying, buying the berries and the sauce and making kind of like a a flan type of dessert. Um, all kinds of great little tips here about saving money during the holidays because definitely it can get expensive. And these ladies, they made extra money during the season. One, she made money by selling her artisan chocolates here. Chocolate strawberries and biscotti sticks and stuff like that. Another woman made $40 an hour wrapping um, presents. Um, another woman, she brings in about 120000 decorating homes for the holidays, you know, going in and putting in all the beautiful flowers and candles and lights and stuff like that. Um, another woman says she earns up to $150 doing her um, holiday shopping with things like Ebates and stuff like that. Um, so here we go with some pet solutions. You can't forget about Fido and friends. So here's a little thing. You know when you're trying to cook in, in the kitchen and your little guy is all around your feet? I have two little chihuahuas, so like literally I'm dancing while I'm cooking all the time. And so they said one good thing to do is to take little tumbler glasses like this, put a little kibble in the bottom of the one of the tumblers, and then stack the tumblers up on top of each other and just give it to them. Let them roll it around on the floor, and they will have fun trying to figure out how to get their little kibble out. Um, another thing that they're saying is that um, if you have 
um, your dog has like a little bit of a kennel cough, then you can give them a tea, a half a teaspoon for smaller dogs under 25 pounds, or a teaspoon for dogs over 25 pounds, and the um, anti-inflammatory um, properties of the honey will take away the cough. And then also, if another thing about um, um, fleas, if you're having trouble with fleas, you can sprinkle a little bit of pulverized sugar, uh, not sugar, <laughs> that'll be a problem, pulverized salt on your um, carpet and when you go ahead and you vacuum it will basically dehydrate the little buggers and then you want to go ahead and empty the canister outside far away from your house and then repeat it every two days for a week to ensure that you killed every egg and you probably have um, problems with your pet licking the carpet for a little while but that's okay as long as they're not scratching a butt right <laughs> these are four stories that will warm your heart and we will definitely go over these in another um, video i will read each one of these to you they're really good they're really good um here holiday healers and this is uh, another one that i wanted to talk to you guys about about um a breakfast before bed sleep buster so they said that if you um have a little bitty bowl of cereal, a low sugar cereal with um, sliced bananas and 2% milk that the uh, sleep inducing in amino acids will um, help you fall asleep easily and you'll stay asleep longer. More um, delicious apple bites. Oh. This was a good one. Okay, so have you ever wondered, I mean, you know, if you're like me and you're maybe uh, getting into your 40s and you're wondering, you know, because you see maybe a gray hair here and there, what about the gray hairs there? Yeah, there, down there. So like, yeah, I was wondering about that. I haven't had that experience yet, but I'm always thinking towards the future and I just thought like, yeah, if the hair on my head is going to go gray, what about that? And so, you know, of course, with women first, I'm not the only one asking and someone else asked this question. Is it safe to dye my pubic hair? So yeah, and they answer yes, that it is safe to dye your pubic hair and that they make specific products for this. And um, just in case you may need to buy some, a product that they um, recommend to try is Betty Beauty Color for Hair Down There. And that can be found at BettyBeauty.com. So, yeah, there you go. And another thing that someone asked about is that uh, they are 52 and they haven't had a period in a long time. And now all of a sudden they've re-experienced that. And she said that there is such thing as like basically a ghost period that comes like right before your, your uh, menopause. And you may experience that. I didn't know that. I thought it just kind of stops and that's it. And then also they said... Um, that when you're like in your older time like you know 47 or so years and she's pre-menopausal pre that uh you can have really bad mood changes and they call it uh common to perimenopause which is pre-menopause and she said that antidepressants can help but they can carry side effects so you should be consuming uh 1200 milligrams of calcium a day um and like two pound or two teaspoons of flax seeds into a daily smoothie. Flax seeds have phytoestrogens and can tackle uh, problems linked to declining estrogens such as mood swings. So there you go, a little women's health for us there. Wow, let's just take a look at this for about a few seconds and just imagine what it would like be like to be in just this nice paradise here. Isn't that beautiful? Imagine the sun and the sand and the warmth on your back. Look at that. There's a nice little cocktail. Just going and just relaxing. Because that's what it's all about, right? We're just finding ways to relax. And what better way to relax than a beautiful 
I'm in vacation. Excuse the camera jerkiness. I'm trying to get back into position. <laughs> and then, um, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Waterfalls. Cool, refreshing waterfalls. Beautiful birds. And uh, Guanacaste is this is where this is. The Scarlet Macau is what that is. It's beautiful. Um, so Guanacaste is just right off the coast of Costa Rica, and um, it's not far. You can it says the you see here. This is the USA, and this is the Gulf of Mexico, and this is Costa Rica right here, and there's Guanacaste. So you can see why it's such a beautiful place. I mean, like that, close to Costa Rica. My goodness. Island retreat. Oh, here we go. Um, we're talking about dreams. Do you ever have dreams that you always wonder, what is that? What does that mean, right? Um, well, here's a few dreams that they help you interpret. Um, here we have a handsome man saves you. And... Um, what this basically is telling you that you're going through a rough time and that it's reassuring you that a higher energy will help you navigate through it that you can do it you just have to keep believing in yourself you will save yourself you can do it um and this one i'm stuck in a theme park meaning like you can be stuck on a roller coaster or stuck on a ferris wheel or stuck somewhere in like an amusement park somewhere where you're supposed to have fun but it's not turning out to be that way and basically what they're saying is when you're stuck on that you feel like um there are areas where you're lacking and whether it's at work or with loved ones and you have to know when the stop button is basically to stop being so critical of yourself and that you'll find that true amusement and the joy once you stop you know criticizing yourself so harshly um, another one is this cute little horse over here. The stallion smiles at me. And basically, it's saying that, um, you know, you have a personal appetite for power and freedom. And that, um, this is basically the stallion reminding you of your greatness and your strength. And, um, maybe you've been having trouble trying to, uh, you know, realize that in yourself and maybe you just need a boost of confidence and that's what that little that guy is smiling at you for um i'm always running late and so if that's something that is um usually a lot of times um running late especially if you're a person who is really on time all the time it can tell you that maybe you feel like you're um you're not making a decision on something fast enough um, here that says maybe someone is getting you distracted, that you could be somehow off track. Um, do you feel like you're not blooming as fast as everybody else? Like, you know, you're late in the game kind of thing. So, you know, you can usually find out, look at your conscious life and find out where these subconscious um, cues are coming from. And, you know, you should be, you can be able to interpret your dreams sometimes yourself. Also, they're having an awesome contest here. You can win a stunning bouquet um, valued at $70. And also a high-tech, hi-fi stereo system from Vimoda. And you can um, enter to win this on their website. This is $630 value. Good luck to everyone who wins. Here's some puzzles and word searches, things like spot the difference. They have great, um, like, you know, um, activities to do, too. It's almost like an activity book for grown-ups in the back. You have Sudoku. You have here, like, a, it's just like something to laugh at. You know, it says the, <laughs> the, sign, of the tip, sign of the times, your typical day is spent searching for things we just had a minute ago right <laughs> and here we have captions where you can actually make a caption to this funny little um this uh funny little picture right here we have coloring oh 
horoscopes and maybe I'll do that one time do some horoscopes for you guys um this tells you the answers to the puzzles and stuff like that in case you just want to cheat or maybe you just want to check your answers see if you're right <laughs> here is another great story and maybe I'll read that to you guys too um, this is a story out of Chicken Soup for the Soul, a book of Christmas miracles. And you can get it at Amazon if you just can't wait. <laughs> and then here we have um, five stories that will make you smile. And these are animal stories. And the other reason why I wanted to go ahead and bring this to you is because something else that I read is that two things with animals. One looking at cute little animal pictures before you sleep can induce like you know um anti-stress feelings and stuff like that and this is where the magazine went wrong because this is what my kid wanted to snatch out of the pictures and so yeah um looking at little animals and stuff like that little fuzzy cute little animals in their faces can actually relax you and help you fall asleep faster and distress you and also if you, this is something that I seen on a television program just a while back, a couple of days ago. In order to um, actually uh, induce loving, uh, I guess like, um, okay, if you want, if you're having kind of like some issues with your spouse or your lover in your relationship and you want to try and instill those feelings of love and you know, giddiness again, that kind of, um, what do they call it, puppy love, so to speak, then what you do is you go and grab a little magnet, you can even make one, um, maybe that's one of the projects we'll do in the future, and um, you make your little magnet with a cute little puppy face, or a little orangutan, or any little thing that's so cute, and um, you take a picture of your mate and you hang that on the refrigerator or on your workstation or somewhere where you'll see it all the time with that little cute little face of the animal and so apparently what happens is seeing that cute little animal's face next to your spouse's face will make you start to feel that same kind of love and affection that you feel for the cute little guy next to him to your lover or your spouse so that way maybe you won't be so quick at the tongue or you know because we can we can be very hurtful sometimes and so yeah that's just a tip and I don't know I haven't tried it yet and I guess when I find a boo thing as they say I will try it <laughs> these are just some cute last little laughs or whatever and finally we come to the last page which was ripped off again so I thank you very much for checking out this episode, or this edition of Women First, or for, yeah, for Women First, and um, our next issue, I promise, will not be in pieces, <laughs> so I hope this has been helpful, and I hope it's been relaxing, if you like more page turning.